Hello, hi Marcelo. And on this tutorial, we will learn how to deploy and schedule automations in YPath. So let's get started by learning how to publish automation to YPath Orchestrator. So let's just create a simple process that will show a message box with the text hello from YPath Orchestrator. So here we have our automation to publish and now let's publish it. But before that, let's just create a new folder on YPath Orchestrator. And on this new folder, it's where we will publish and add our automation. So to create a new folder here on tenant, let's click on folders. And now let's click here to create a new folder. And let's define the folder name. So I'll just enter my folder and now let's click on create. And just make sure the process package source is the tenant package field. So it should be selected this option. Now let's click on create. So here we have our new folder and let's just add our machine to this folder so we can also run jobs, run automations on this folder. So now let's click here on manage machines in folder and let's add our machine. So now let's go back to iPad Studio and let's publish our process. So to publish it, let's click here on this button. And here we can see the package name and the version. So it will be the first version. So let's click on next and here make sure publish to orchestrator tenant process feed and now let's click on publish so our project was published successfully so now if we go through uh, orchestrator on tenant and now click on packages and now here on packages we can see the package the project that we have published so now let's add a new process from this package on our folder so here let's click on processes and let's add a new process so here let's select the package so hello from orchestrator now let's click on next and next again and now let's click on create to create the process the process was added so let's just see if we can run it from here so let's click on start a job and now let's select our machine and let's click on start and here we can see hello from ypath orchestrator so we have deployed successfully our project, our automation on YPath Orchestrator. So now let's see how we can schedule the process execution. So here from our folder on automations, let's now click on the triggers. And from here we can create triggers that will execute our process automatically. So let's click here on add a new trigger. And first we have two trigger types, time-based or queue-based. So let's create the time-based one so it will be more easier to see if it will work. So let's here just create uh, the trigger with the name schedule underscore hello from Orchestrator. And now let's select here the process to be executed. So hello from our stator. Then here we can set the job priority. So let's leave the default option selected. Runtime type. So here we can select a runtime type. Let's leave the one selected, which is the one where I have a runtime available. So then here we can define the execution target. So where we want to execute the process. So I'll select my machine 
then here we can select the time zone so here let's set the rule that will trigger our process so let's leave every minute so we can easily see if it will work but just as we can see we have here many options we can run it hourly daily weekly and set the days where it should run and the hours monthly or advanced by using cron expressions so then here we have the non-working days restrictions so if we have a calendar with the non-working days we could select it in order to the process don't run on the non-working days and that's it basically so let's just have our trigger and now as it says here in a minute it should execute our process automatically so let's just wait and here we can see the message box so that means that the trigger executed the process so just make sure now that you disable the trigger if you don't disable, the process will run every minute on your machine. So to disable it, we just have to check here this option and then click here on disable. And that's it. If you like this tutorial, smash the like button and now subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you'll get notified on each tutorial that is launched on the channel.